Welcome to today's episode of the Heaven and L podcast. As always, I am your host, Elle Edwards. Delighted to, to be here with you sharing what God's laid on my heart for today's little story. Now, today's little story is actually inspired by yesterday. Um, not the Beatles song, Yesterday the Day. <laughs> so yesterday, I, for whatever reason, felt a nudge to move my laptop from my desk, where I record these podcast episodes, and go and sit in the kitchen. Some of you who know that we did some work in the kitchen last year, so we've got this nice seating area now. Uh, there was nobody else around, it was just me, it was, I don't know, it was just a different place to be and it was lovely. And then something niggled me around this, around this idea of changing our perspective. And so that's what we're going to be exploring in today's episode. Uh, and from two different angles, uh, from the angle of our perspective in the physical. So actually sometimes literally changing our perspective as in like where we are sitting, what we're doing, what we're encountering in a day can make a huge difference. Uh, and so that's what I noticed yesterday. I love my office, it's bright and yellow and cheery and it's wonderful and I can see outside and there's grass and it's great. And then sometimes then when I shift into the kitchen, it's a different perspective and that's lovely too. And so the first reminder is if you're, this is particularly pertinent or useful, if you're finding things a bit like, ah, here we go again, or same old, same old, I would encourage you to try shifting your perspective. In the, in the physical, physically, literally change your perspective. The other side of this as well is that you can change your perspective from, from a story angle. So what is changing your perspective about what this situation means or what is the story that you're telling yourself around this event that's causing you to feel a bit like, ugh. But even more powerfully is taking that oof and asking God to show you it from his perspective. Uh, show me what, particularly if there's uncertainty or there's an event that you don't know about or everything just feels a bit jingly jangly. Uh, and yes, this is the podcast episode, but lots of made up words today. But if something is feeling jingly jangly and you're just not sure, one of the most powerful things you can do is say, God, show me this from your perspective. Show me this from heaven's perspective. What does this look like to you? Or help me see this. The other one you can do is help me see this through your lens of love. It shifts things enormously. As long as you, of course, expect to hear from him. It comes back to that IER in you here. You are doing life in that intentional expectant relationship. Ask him for his perspective. He loves you and knows you and is wanting to do life with you. Uh, and so those times that are challenging, you can knuckle down and power through and try and figure it out on your own. But why would you? W what is the point of doing that? You have Holy Spirit living inside of you inviting you into relationship and so that reminder that to take that thing that feels uncertain or you don't know about and ask God to show you it from his perspective. I would also encourage you to do that with an open mind because sometimes the whispers that you hear back are going to be like oh really I did not expect that at all because I forget which bible verse it is but it, there's somewhere in the bible where it talks about how you know how limited our understanding is from, from God's perspective. So things, life and the life, the universe and everything is so much bigger and more incredible and more wonderful than our finite human minds can actually comprehend. So when you're in that dialogue with Holy Spirit and you're asking from, to, to see that event from his perspective, you can expect that there will be times where what you hear is different to what you possibly imagined. And you can do this same thing with your dreams and your ambitions and your aspirations as well. One of the, and you know, when we get excited about things, sometimes the whisper you'll, you'll hear from God is, and, and, there's so much more to unpack than we can possibly comprehend. I remember a few weeks ago, uh, this is tangential, but it's related. One of my friends said to me, ask, ask God to show you what you have in your hands and to unpack and help you see it all. And one of the things, and so I did, uh, and I can't remember the context of how this conversation came up, but it was as a result of something that was causing me to go, hmm, I'm not sure this or that. And when I did, the answer that came back was around story. Uh, God was in was reminding me part of you know, the story that you've heard, particularly like long, long time listeners, the story around the, the miserable grumpy Elle in her mid twenties that you all have been introduced to. Uh, that's a really important part of my story. Uh, the before is the before and after shot that we love so much. And what's been really interesting, and the reason why this came to mind, is over the last couple of weeks I've been doing a few podcast interviews as a guest. And this is, keeps coming up and it's really fun. You see this look on their face of like, what? 
that can't be the person you're describing. That can't be you. And I'm like, of course it was me. Uh, and so what God's been showing is actually what he said was so true. It was so much more than I possibly knew at that moment. And is an, impo- an important part of how we unpack things. So this idea of perspective, I would encourage you to, to, to dream with God with this as well. You don't have to just ask for God's perspective when you're feeling a bit ugh. He wants to engage you with all of the things. We've talked before from Psalm 67 verse one and two, where your joy will bring salvation to the nations. We've said before, yes, God will use difficult situations to draw people to him. But actually, his goodness, his delight, his wonder, his love, his brilliance, that is so much more like, you know, bees to a honeypot. And you are part of that story. And every time that you show up, being who God made you to be in that intentional, expectant relationship with God, you are part of that story. And yes, it blows my mind too. Why would the person, the person, the being, the the creator of the universe want to have us as part of the story? I don't really know why, but he's God and he wants to. And that's what you were made for, that relationship piece. So don't just reserve this perspective question for when things are feeling ugh. Use it when things are feeling delightful too. Use it as a, as a, a springboard for conversation. That's what all of this is about, all of these love stories. Every time I show up here and, and show you God's love in yet another example, all of it is about drawing you into that relationship piece because that piece, love, is so, so important. Whether we're going up against stuff and we're struggling with things or whether life is feeling delightful or somewhere in between, the more that we can focus on the love and the goodness of God and everything that he brings to, to life, the more delightful this life will be. You know, you are called to joy and to thrive. And like we said uh, in the intro to this podcast, which I know regular podcast listeners won't have heard because it's only the Facebook bit, but we started. I started to say that life is a mixed bag. And it is a, it is a mixed bag. And one of the things that came up yesterday when I was sharing on this podcast is it's very easy, and you've heard me say this before, it's very easy for people to see me with my sunny yellow background and my delightful personality to think that life is always easy and brilliant. And that's not true. And it's really important that I show you all areas of life and also then like how we walk that out we did that a couple of episodes ago actually I was having a bit of a oh, day and so I shared with you okay when I'm having a moment like that this is what we do but it's actually really the real the real secret in inverted commas for having a joy-filled day and life is keeping your eyes open for the lovely things in every single day you know looking around you and pausing and saying okay what is what is delightful right now we don't need to wait for the big events to have a delightful day or a delightful life if you can start building those those an appreciation of all the wonder and goodness that's in your day right now it will build your resilience for those times when life is difficult but it will also help you have a more delightful day and that will impact the world the the people around you directly and the world more widely and we really need that you know there's so much angst and hurt and frustration in the world not just now. I mean, yes, COVID has brought it to a head, but if it wasn't COVID, it would be something else. There's always something that if people want to be dragged down, they're going to be dragged down by it. You are the antidote for that. And every time you show up full to the top in God's love, God helping you, of course, you don't have to willpower your way to this. And when you're having a difficult day, you don't have to deny those feelings, but doing all of it, you being you, in that intentional expectant relationship. It's countercultural. it's that narrow path. It's why we have the itchy soul playground so that you don't have to feel alone. Every time you do that, you are making this world a more delightful place and I am so thankful for that. And just know that every time you show up and be you, God is smiling and rejoicing and delighting in you being you because he loves you so, so much. So that's my reminder for you today, my encouragement for you. If you know someone who would benefit from this, please do share. This podcast goes out all over the place. Uh, and, and so I would suspect wherever someone listens to podcasts or watches videos, it will be there. Uh, and, uh, but, and, and know that you are doing so with my thanks as well. But just be encouraged. And if you're not a member of the playground, do come and join us. We are building this place where you can be you. Practice being you here in a safe space. Until next time, thank you for being here. I should catch up with you very, very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.